I'm Trent, bringing you your weekly news. Hope you had a wonderful Easter break. Let's go see what the local weather is with Dalton and Allison. Dalton Hall and Allison Pona here with your weather. For today's local weather, we have a temperature high of 56 and a low of 24 with a 46% chance of rain. Hey Allison. Yeah, Dalton? Did you know that it snowed in Brighton for the first time in nearly 40 years? In fact, I did. Brighton is a city in England where it never snows because of frequent climate change, which it never has enough time for snow. Fascinating. Now back to you. Thanks, guys. Now let's go see what's going on in the world of sports. Hi, I'm John Hall. And I'm Jaden Price. And, and we're here with your latest sports. Hey, John, did you catch the NCAA National Championship? Yeah, it was Michigan from the West and Villanova from the East. Villanova came out on top, winning the National NCAA Championship. The final score was 79 Villanova to 62 Michigan. <laughs> Dante DiVincenzo, born January 31st, 1997, led the team with points with 31 of his own. That gave his team a big boost in the first half. It's been a while since the NBA was the talk, but let's see what's been happening. One of the premier teams in the NBA. Lowry to Ibaka to Nagara. Beautiful for a guy like Lowry to prolong his career. And Fleet to Nagara. Turned his whole career. Too small, too slow. Little Rogier makes a nice play there. Morris throws it down. It's a and the three point shooting for Boston. Three for 19. Oh, Ibaka is the trailer, right found him. How, I mean, the nerves of, oh dear God, play hard and don't get hurt. Right. Good. Congrats again to the Villanova Wildcats for winning the national championship. Now let's go to our classroom special, Tori. Wildfisher. All right, yeah. Okay, how, how far is Tori? She should tell you on the back. I'll get the dude in the back. Did you see what was going on at Montcalm Elementary? Yeah, that was pretty cool. In third grade, we were able to see an awesome skill graph. In fifth grade, they were recycling, making jump ropes and keychains. Glad we were able to see these projects. Speaking of cool projects, we were able to see Mrs. T's greenhouse activity. I really enjoyed how they used all the recycled materials. All right, now back to you, Emily, Emily and Trent. Thanks, Troy, for the classroom interview. Now let's go to Kelly with our Montcalm General Teacher of the Year, Miss Goins. Hi, my name is Kelly. Today I'm here with Miss Goins, the Teacher of the Year. <gasps> I'm going to ask her a few questions. What do you enjoy about a t being a teacher? Let's see, I mean, I really enjoy my students and just being with them every day and watching them grow up, not just from second grade, but all the way up through high school. So that's my favorite thing. That's cool. What inspired you to be a teacher? Well, I wasn't the best student when I was younger. I didn't read very well, so I had to repeat the third grade. And when I did that, I had a teacher that stayed after school with me every day and worked really hard with me and taught me how to read. And that made me want to do that for someone else. Wow. <laughs> What activities do you and your students enjoy the most? Oh, we like to dance and go crazy, so we do Go Noodle. If you've never done it, you've done Go Noodle, right? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We, um, we did a song called Purple Stew the other day. If you haven't tried it, check it out. It's awesome. So that's kind of our favorite thing to do. That's cool. How did you feel when you were one teacher of the year? I was surprised and, and very excited that my you know, co-workers really wanted to vote for me and tell me that I'm doing it. That's cool. Thank you, Miss Goings. Back to you, Emily and Trent. Looks like the classrooms at Montcalm are 
staying busy today. We're going to go over to Jessica Jennings and we're going to see what joke she has for us today. Hey, I'm Jessica and this is my joke. Why are the chicken nuggets running away? Because the ketchup scared me. <laughs>